guys, welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be mixing up something called mixed berry ice cream. Now if you follow me on ELR you may have noticed this has already been released. This is something that I was working on for quite a while and you know me I love ice creams and all that. So <clears throat> this one right here, so this is the bottle. You can see it's it's been steeping for a while. It's, it's a nice uh, it's a nice creamy color. Now I have changed up the percentages a little bit on this version but I know it's going to be great already so let's uh let's talk about it a little bit i'm gonna drip it somewhere where is my atomizer there it is very wonderful all right so we'll just taste it shall we mm. it tastes delicious i'm not gonna lie i like it a lot um if you're noticing Actually, let me, let me turn this one a little bit, get it more on my face. There we go. If you're noticing, my face is a little bit brighter, and that is because I have some lamps now. Uh, John from JFM Development suggested that I pick up some lamps, get some daylight bulbs in them, and uh, it'll it'll definitely help the audio or the video quality. So we'll see where this goes. We'll check it out and see how good it works. But if it doesn't work well, I'll get some different bulbs. So we'll we'll go from there. So, let's uh, mix it up. Actually, before we mix it up, let's kind of talk about the profile a little bit, what's in there. So, first off, we have vanilla bean gelato, meringue, vanilla, oh, no, that's not a flavor, that is an actual bottle. But I know, where, there you are. I know what it is. It's vanilla custard V2, get these out of the way, uh, biscuit by Anawera. Harvest Berry, Vanilla Bean Ice Cream, Cream Cheese Icing, and Bilberry. And when I'm putting it in, I'll kind of try and remember to explain what it does and all that. But we're going to go ahead and put some gloves on here. If I sound a little congested, I apologize. Uh, I, allergy season. Uh, my family does not do good with allergies. So I'm a little bit congested can't taste much I mean I can still taste but I was having some vapors tongue the other day and I, it was it was not pleasant so so get this glove on here maybe excellent all right so let's head down let's mix it up and I uh, will give it a try all right, so we're down on the mixing table. Now, you may notice this is a little bit messy. Um, I apologize. I just, I don't have a lot of time today. So this video, it's it's not rushed, but I just didn't have enough time to clean up everything. But it's, it's nice and clean. If you see stains, that's actually literally just from juice. I promise. It's just from literally setting my atomizer down on the table while I redrip and excess juice gets on the white sheet. I'm going to replace this with a black one. So we don't have that. But anyways... Let's pop our bottle on, tear it out. First thing I like to do is nicotine. When wearing nicotine, wear gloves. Actually, I'm going to adjust this just a wee bit. When wearing nic... <laughs> God damn it, I keep saying that. When using nicotine, wear gloves. It's very important because nicotine is dangerous. It is not a joke. It is a chemical. It can hurt you. It can make you very sick. It can hurt others, so be careful with it. It is not a joke, people. Now I am using 60 milligram VG suspended nicotine at 100% uh, VG. Sorry, didn't think clearly there. Um, you can use whatever you have, VG, PG. Uh, I prefer to work with VG based nicotine just because I find it easier to work with. Some people like PG based nicotine, more than fine. Use what works for you. You can adapt the recipe on ELR and um, it's pretty simple. So you just click that little wrench and click adapt and then enter in your milligrams so like your nicotine strength or the solution of nicotine that you have and then the preferred strength so give this one more good shake I need to get a better bottle for this I need to put this in a 30 mil or something because this is ridiculous this bottle all right nicotine is shaking up so we need 1.89 grams of nicotine. Okay, 
1.85. I'm happy with that. I don't want to go over. So nicotine is in. Now let's do the flavoring. So first up is Bilberry by Flavor Art. And this is in there to give it sort of a berry note along with the Harvest Berry in there. And if you use Bilberry on its own, I find it gets a little bit musty. And I just don't use it on its own personally. But this is in at 0.5% or 0.15 grams. Okay. Bilberry is in. Beautiful. Next up is Biscuit by Anawera. This is in also at 0.5% or 0 0.15 grams. And what Biscuit's in there to do is give it a little bit of crumbliness on the uh, ice cream, kind of like an ice cream cone. Don't use this, this flavor high, folks. Don't go above 1%. At least I would say there are some recipes out there that do, and it works. But I would suggest not going above 1%. That's just my personal opinion. So, so 0.15 grams again. more drop there we go biscuit is in next up is cream cheese icing by Lorenz. this is a bit of a interesting thing in an ice cream this is going to really give us that delicious uh creamy uh ice cream well working with the other ice creams of course but it's, it's a really good flavor. I highly recommend picking this up. It has so many uses. And I put this in there at 0.75% or 0.23 grams. Yeah, man. Beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. It is in. Next is Harvest Berry by Capella. This is in at 3%. This is there to give that berry note a bit more boost and take away the mustiness from the bilberry. And it just, it's a great bilberry, or great berry. Learn to speak. Thank you. Um, it's, you know, let me give it a little sniff and I'll just, mm, it just smells it's like delicious berries. So this is in at 3% or 0.9 grams. Okay, Bill Berry's in. Next up is Meringue by TFA. You can sub this for flavor art. It's not much of a difference, and um, it's really your choice. So if you have TFA Meringue, use it. If you have Flavor Arts Meringue, use that. It'll work perfectly fine either way. But TFA's Meringue is in at 0.6 grams or 2%. Gonna have to use a pipette for this one and the vanilla bean ice cream, so I apologize if that bothers anybody that I'm using one pipette for two flavors, but it's just how it's gotta go, folks. So, we're looking for 0.6 grams. And this is in here to give a really m creamy milk to the ice cream. Kind of like you're eating a dairy, you know, a dairy ice cream, basically. Well, all ice cream, I believe, is made out of dairy, but you, you, you get what I mean. You, you, you understand. You're a smart guy or girl or whatever. You're, you're, you're smart. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> all right, next up. Oh, I forgot one. Silly me. All right, I got to go grab the sugar cookie. I will be right back. Mm. 
and we're back. All right, got the sugar cookie. So sugar cookie is in here at 2.5% or 0 0.75 grams. And what sugar cookie's in here to do, is it's in here to give this a nice coney flavor. So, just gotta dip it in. All right, sugar cookies in. Next up is vanilla bean gelato. I like how I said that, gelato. This is in at 2% or 0 0.6 grams, and this is there to build that ice cream note. So we need it at 0 0.6 grams. This is a hard bottle to squeeze. Zero point six grams is in. Next up is vanilla bean ice cream. This is our ice cream top note. This is in at three point five percent or one point zero five grams. And again, this is there just to give it that ice cream. And it's pretty self-explanatory, so. Again, 1.05 grams. So let's drip it in. I'm making a lot of ice cream lately. And I'm ordering more of this because it is my favorite ice cream. All right, 1.05 grams is in. Pipette is done. You, sir, have finished your job. Congratulations. Last but not least is Vanilla Custard V2 by Capella. You can sub this for V1 if you want more egginess, more thickness, but we're using V2 in this scenario. So I have this decanted into a smaller bottle, but don't don't let that fool you. It's it's really vanilla custard V2. So this is in at one percent or zero point three grams, and what this is here to do is to give a rich, creamy, vanilla taste with some thickness, and uh, I think it's going to go well. It's going to be really dense, and uh, you know I'm, I'm I'm looking forward to it. So. Vanilla custard is in. Now all that's left is the VG and the PG. So let's grab our VG. So we need one point, I'm sorry, 4.43 grams of VG or 30%. So 4.43. PG's in. Now all that's left to do, oops, sorry, just bumped the microphone, is fill it up with that delicious VG. That clouds, cloud production unit of deliciousness. So. We are spot on pretty much. We're 0.2 of a gram short. So we're at 24.55. So take our gloves off and put those away. We'll grab my Norpro and we'll go back up top and mix it. So I will see you guys up top. All right, back up top. So we're going to mix this up and uh, we'll talk about it a little bit. So. 
this recipe is going to need around probably I'd say five to five days to a week to steep out. I'd say around five days it'll be fine. And it'll have a really nice rich ice cream and it'll have a pretty blended together berry. Um, it's going to be probably around the mid range if I could if I could give like a range of how powerful it'll be. It'll be around the mid range of blueberry or not blueberry, um, harvest berry or berry, whatever you want to call it. And, uh, um, yeah, it's, it's a really good mix. If you guys like ice cream, try this one out. But we're just blending it together right now, getting it all nice and homogenous. Yeah, big words for somebody like me, I know. Okay, I think we're done mixing it. So, let's pop the cap on it. Pop the, mm, it smells so good, pop the top on it and we'll vape it. So, I've actually got it in this RDA. I'm going to actually clear this off real quick and we'll be right back. All right, we're back. Moving all that vapor out of the way, but it smells pretty good. Gonna drip it. And pop our tube cap on. Here we go. So, one thing that I'm noticing is that the berries are not as prominent as this one. Um, and that's not because I mismeasured or anything. It's because I upped that vanilla ice cream. That's exactly what I was going for, was a less prominent berry. But that's something that's still there. Now, you're not going to really taste the ice cream or anything until you really let this steep. Um, you're looking at about a five day to a week steep to really let the ice cream come out. But I've got it right here. All I can, I can't, I can't smell this one because I could, it, my gloves, they, they leave a smell on my hands. So but um, let's go ahead and drip some of this stuff right here. I'm using a pair of fused Clapton's. I'm coming out to 0.2 ohms, somewhere around there, 0.22. Vaping into 100 watts. That's a tasty vape. Mm. Ice cream is much more prominent in the mixed berry, the, the first one I mixed up. So, my thoughts. Well, I think it's a good ice cream. I'm not going to, like, lie. It's pretty tasty, in my opinion. If you like ice creams, like that kind of stuff, try this one out. You might enjoy it. You might not. If you do, let me know. If you don't, let me know. And uh, I will see you guys in Tomorrowland. I will be getting new glasses in about a week. I just went to the, uh, what are they called, eye doctor today. And I uh, got my new pair ordered. So I just burped. I, excuse me. Um, yeah. So thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like and a comment. I will see you guys in tomorrow. Bye.